All right, Mr. Palmer here, gonna do a couple of videos on compression, okay? Um, and I'm gonna stick in the one on hash algorithms as well into here. So here we go, kicking off, right? Basically looking at uh, an introduction to compression and understanding what the difference between lossy and lossless compression are, okay? So basically with compression, what we're saying as a definition is we wanna encode data using fewer bits than the original representation of the data. Uh, so therefore what we're doing is reducing the amount of storage space that we need to keep that data um on disk okay uh then there are a number of knock-on benefits obviously for doing that so if there's any question basically two marks explaining what compression is or describing the benefits of compression obviously going to kick off with uh that using few bits to store the data therefore reducing the storage therefore etc etc okay and these are the expansions that you might be talking about basically why are we compressing we're storing more data in the same physical space we're increasing the amount of information that we can transmit it, um, and uh, therefore, um, you know, using a, a limited amount of bandwidth and we're reducing the amount of time that we spend waiting for information to arrive. OK, so two types of compression here. We're talking, first of all, lossy compression. Generally, we use for images, audio and video uh, where we're removing the non-essential detail from the file. Uh, examples of this obviously being things like MP3 files um, where the range of audio that we can't hear is removed. OK, um, here I've got two photos that are of a photo that I've taken. Both of them appear to look uh, the same uh, now on your screen. However, if we zoom into part of the image, basically we can see that the one on the left is much clearer than the one on the right because the one on the right, obviously, I've compressed more. OK, so uh, the file size has obviously been removed. I can't remember what the difference is now. The one on the left is probably about five meg and the one on the right is a couple of K. All right, but you can see where the, the detail of the file has been removed. OK, so basically, um, uh, as I said earlier, these are some of the reasons why we want to use lossy compression. OK, so, for example, your camera shoots in RAW, uh, you want to store those as JPEGs uh, just to save space, because if you've got a 20 megapixel uh, camera, you're probably going to be having 20 megabytes per image, whereas if you store it as a JPEG, it might only be a couple of meg. All right. So these are all the expansions that you might be talking about if you're writing an essay about um, compression. OK, now, um, what about when the meaning of the data information is actually important? So, for example, when you have an image and you compress it, you're removing the non-essential detail. You can basically get the uh, gist of what the image is about, like when you watch videos on YouTube. OK, it doesn't need to be crystal clear like real life. Uh, you can see it and hear it. It's enough for you to get the, the meaning. All right. When you, you need lossless compression, basically when you need to, uh, the, the meaning of the original data has to be preserved because accuracy is important. Uh, for example, um, code. If you ask me to send some code and I send it to you, you need to be able to decompress it and get the exact code back the way it was in order for it to be, for it to run correctly. OK, so what we're talking about is we have the original data, which we then compress and transmit to where we want to send it to. And then that can be decompressed and we can basically get back to the original state of the data. All right. Um, obviously, text documents, um, etc. Um, these are all kinds of important uh, examples where we want to use lossless compression because a document that I said you is not going to be much use if there are bits of it missing when you decompress it. So examples of lossless compression, um, zip archives, we've got uh, FLAC, which is the free lossless audio codec. Uh, PNGs are lossless compression. OK, portable network graphic, I think it stands for. OK, uh, Hoffman coding, which you may be learning about as a part of the course, uh, which is a form of um, compressing text, OK, by generating codes for the characters um, in, uh, in a document, OK. Um, and some of those techniques may also make use of run length enco um, encoding to basically remove redundancies and to compress the data further. OK, so um, basically you should be able to explain the difference between lossy and lossless compression in terms of the definitions or the more technical definitions that I've given you in here. I'm now going to move on to actually two different versions, two different techniques for uh, lossless compression. And then I'm going to be talking about uh, hash algorithms as well.